Hello everybody, welcome back to Pro Tools 101 lessons here at educator.com. This is lesson 13, editing audio and MIDI. In this lesson we will work on basic editing techniques that we learned in the last lesson, as well other info in the previous lesson that we learned to use all editing tools and edit mode to actually edit a track. So this is kind of a unit that we could we could look at it uh, as a hands-on practice. There will be a lot of showing as well. We're going to touch base with the arrangement, although there is another lesson pretty much focused on the arrangements as far as uh, after editing stage that we get into most of the time. So last lesson we talked about command focus mode. Now we know for copying we can only use the C as long as this area checked in A to Z. For pasting is V, cutting X, zoom in T, zoom out R, Cut the left of a selection A, cut the right of the selection S, separate clips B. I may not have show this example. Let's go ahead and make one of the tracks larger. Letter B, that's another command focus mode to separate the clips at some point. And of course we can undo that. And one thing I didn't mention on the last unit was moving through on our keyboard too. So since this is so much about uh, navigating through the session using a lot of our keyboard, we can always use our keys P to go up, semicolon to come down. You see right here, let's make it bigger. As you see on the bar 3, I'm going down with the semicolon and I'm going up with the P. And I, if I want to go left, if I want to go left, I can go left with the L. Let's make it smaller. Then I can go with the column. As you see, it went under the, it, it just went in the end of the clip. And I can go right with the column. L will take me to the left and so forth. So P to go up each track, semicolon to come down from up to bottom each track and within the same track, track, especially if we have a lot of clips, we can go with the semicolon, uh, sorry, with column to the right and L to the left. So that's just a little addition of our command focus mode. You may find it useful, so use it if you do. Now what we're going to do at this point, we're going to listen to a very short track that I have. I did very quickly for the lesson purposes and I had to bring here one of the uh, session file backup. Actually, this is the one I already worked on it for a lesson probably like a live lesson that I do teach 101. So I needed to go to one of my early editings to find the version which is a couple of either mistakes or needs some editing so we can apply the editing. That's why you see right here in the end recovered. So if you open something from your uh, back, uh, session file backup easily. And of course one way to go there again option and column that takes us to workspace. I'm here. I know where my session is and session file backup folder. I choose one of the first ones here. That's where we are. So that's why you see the extension right here. It says recovered. So what we're going to do is actually pretty hands on practice. We're going to listen to it. We're going to find spots that we don't like and we try to uh, make sense over these using the edit modes and edit tools. Let's go ahead and listen to it.
Okay, couple of things going on. So first of all, I have three audio tracks and three uh, instrument tracks here. As you see, the instrument tracks are stereo. As you see, they are stereo. And if you see, like, my uh, meters technically here tells me my uh, audios are uh, mono. And so basically what I do here, I just listen to this take. Of course, we're not going to try to bring this one in a stage that it's fully sounding really good. It's actually a work and lesson track anyway. 